Hello! It's Robin here at Tenerife Cats. I'm so very happy. I figured out how to put my screen in the game. And one day I'm going to figure out how to get rid of this little bottom piece of the window. Hmm. Yes, I'm a World of Warcrafter. But you guys knew that already. Um, I've been working on trying to figure out how to make this thing work forever. Let me turn the sound down just a hair, because it's a little loud, I think. Go up here. Okay, there we go. Okay, there we go. So, these are some of my characters here. I've been playing since about 2005. I started playing with my son, and uh, he was just a little kid then. And uh, we'd sit together and play, and uh, he kind of got tired of it. And he kind of used the, escape, the excuse of, oh, my mom is playing, and it's such a drag. Most kids nowadays go, yeah, my mom plays with me. It's great. So, when he moved on to things, he like fell in love with, like, Minecraft and, uh, and uh, Keyblade and all that stuff. So, that's what he plays. Um... And he's into Legos, but mm, he's like 26 into Legos. Mm. He's got a Lego channel where he puts Legos together. That's an expensive craft. <laughs> so anyway, uh, one of my first characters was Marmalade right here. I started her on what they called a PvP server, player versus player. And uh, that's where, uh, you know... The story is, you have the Horde players, and they have the Alliance players. You can't communicate with each other in the game. Um, only the Horde can talk to the Horde players, and only the Alliance can talk to the Alliance players. And on a PvP server, you can attack each other and kill each other whenever you see each other. So, the whole idea is, is if you have a character that's a lot of levels below you, you don't get any credit for killing them. But it's fun for people to kill you <laughs> especially if they can one shot you and it's just not a lot of fun but I played on that server for almost two years and it took me like two years to get to level 70 because these people just they would just annihilate me and the only way you could s survive on that server was to be a hunter because they could just they could hide their footsteps so they couldn't track you and then you could uh, as a night elf you could you could go invisible where they couldn't see you so you could just stand still until they were gone and you could track them so you knew if they were around you're like, we, we do the shadow melt we're shadow melt we're just gonna stand here until they're gone hours waiting for them to get out of the area so you could go play right so I moved to a PVE server which is player versus environment you can't attack the other players you just fight with the mobs that are there so and uh, so I had created Willella, who is my shaman, my healer. And she was my main for many, many years. Blizzard loves the shaman. They have blessed them with some amazing talents. And they also love their paladins. So this is my paladin. And uh, I am playing her as my main right now. I'm like going, I don't know why I'm struggling. I should just play a paladin and I can just go around killing everything with one button. Just boop, 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 boop. And then I have Kazi. Kamikaze. Because when I first started healing, I'm no, no kidding. The mages were so squishy, they'd be on the floor, dead, in any dungeon we'd go in. Right off the bat, boom. They were the first ones dead. Um, but they did, uh, they did fix it, so, you know, people play mages a lot better now. They're not the first ones dead anymore. So this is Cozy. Kazi. I call her Cozy. Kazi. People got me, people call her Cozy, so I say Cozy, but her name is Kazi. Kamikaze. Because she'd go in and die. <laughs> but she's pretty cool, though. And, uh, this is a Time Walker outfit she's got on. I had to get... I got Holly, my holy priest. I was going to raise a priest healer. And um, priest healers are a whole lot different than shaman. They're supposedly better 
but I could never get rid of, could, could never get used to it. So she's a shadow priest, so she just does damage. And then there's Shelby, my warlock, and my druid, Robin, and my little bitty rogue. She's got a hideous helmet. <laughs> I haven't played her since Christmas. We had uh, the Christmas hat. And, uh, yeah, I forgot to change her helmet out. <laughs> yeah, you can tell I play her a lot. And then there's Shiloh. She's my horde. Uh, they made a, an achievement called Double Agent or something like that. So if you leveled uh, a horde character and an alliance character, you got uh, points for it. So I did level a couple of horde characters. And then there's Summer. I do have another shaman. Why run one shaman when I can run two? Because you can only run... You can only run the uh, uh, the raids in Looking for Raid once a week. So if I have two Shaman, I can run it twice. Have twice as many chances of something dropping. So this is another horde. Her name is Henlopen. Which is Dutch for chicken walking. I don't know whether the horde ever figured out that's what I named my, my person or not. <laughs> but she's my horde and she's called chicken walking. And she's a mage too. And then there's Tenerife. And Presby. I thought, oh, I'm going to raise a Void Elf. These are, this is a new race. So I thought, I'll raise another priest. And I'll just run holy. And I'll learn how to heal with that holy priest. Didn't happen. I leveled her as a dark, sh as a shadow priest. Oh well. But, uh. She looks pretty cool there with her umbrella and her little twinkle star thing there. They had to give us some pretty races. We have nice races in Alliance. They got some crazy looking things in Horde. I do have another account, the second account. So I still do have both accounts. The, son, my, the one my son played on and mine. And uh, I have some max levels over there too. But I won't switch right now. Yeah, but it's been fun. I've I've enjoyed World of Warcraft. I think uh, for the money, it's it's not bad because you you pay fifteen dollars a month and you have access to everything. You don't have to pay anything extra to to do anything. So and then every two or three years they'll have a uh, an expansion and the expansion is like forty five dollars. So it's pretty decent and. Uh, People complain so much, and I'm like, going, yeah, they should have joined us in vanilla before it was called vanilla. Then they'd have something to play about. But they they started classic World of Warcraft this past year, where people are going in and they're playing the game that we played 15 years ago. So. They're playing the game without all the enhancements that we've been begging for for 15 years. We finally got the game we wanted for 15 years because they do listen to the players. We finally got the game we wanted and got it going good. And now all these new players are like, oh, we want to play it the way the old players did it. No, you don't. Come back over here and play in Battle for Astaroth where you're supposed to be. <laughs> but they'll be back. They'll be back. Once they get up there and they go, ah, oh, yeah, okay. They're going to figure out. they want, And they're already saying, well, we really do need flying in Azeroth. Well, come play in Battle for Azeroth and you can fly in Azeroth, right? <laughs> so anyway, um, maybe one day I'll get together and uh, go through some dungeons with you guys or something. Let you see what a dungeon looks like. So these are my characters. And there's Marmalade. Um, I always have a character named Marmalade in my games. When I was in, uh, when I played uh, Sims Online, my main was Marmalade, and I did have a Robin, so. Alrighty, well, you guys have a good night, and uh, take it easy. Bye-bye.